Hi, if you're like me, you know Only Fools and Horses 1981 is one of the best sitcoms of all time. So today, I thought it would be fun to pull up a chair by the campfire and rewatch the sitcom with the entire cast of Then and Now. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they have changed in 2023. Okay, let's see. Trigger is played back to Roger Lloyd Pack. In 1981, when he acted in the sitcom, he was 37 years old, and sadly on January 16, 2014, he passed away at 69 in Kentish Town, London, England. Dave. Um, well, he crashed into a television transmitter in Red Hill. <laughs> Well it's, uh, well, it's a testament to the, the power of this program, isn't it? That 30 years after it, we started doing it, it's still as popular as... Granddad is played by actor Leonard Pierce. In 1981, when he acted in the sitcom, he was 66 years old, and sadly on December 15, 1984, he passed away 69 in Archway, London, England. On a box. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Granddad. Why don't you go to your bedroom and watch the Chinese detective on the portable? Go oh, on. All right, I know where I'm not wanted. Well, go on then. Because in those days, you didn't have regional accents like yours. I mean, you couldn't have been on telly <laughs> with a voice like yours. <laughs> you wouldn't have been alone in the building. No, you wouldn't. Boy sees play by John Chalice. In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 39 years old. And sadly, on September 17, 2021, he passed away 79 in England. Keep telling you, Marlene, them doctors don't know everything. They're just a bunch of chances, that's all. Oh, good afternoon. I phoned an order through earlier. Mr. Boyce. Oh, yeah. Uh, a couple of times a year we do a convention and a lot of the cast uh, meet up then and uh, sort of do, do a bit of a catch-up, you know, and uh, we sign a lot of photographs. Derek Delbo Trotter is played by actor David Jason. In 1981, when he acted in the sitcom, he was 41 years old, and now he's living healthy at 83. You see, because in the garage... I'm not I... taking anything with me. <laughs> no, alright. No, okay, no, that's fair enough. Just, just a thought, that was all. Now, go on, you go. I think it's a well-known fact that John Sullivan, I asked him how he saw the character, and he said that he saw him with a flat cap and a... Roddy Trotter is played by actor Nicholas Lindhurst. In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 20 years old, and now he's living healthy at 62. Look, tags around your neck. That was an IG necklace, completely different. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't really want to wear this thing, but I don't want to wear um, Have you heard about that? Is that something you're going to be involved in? And why do you think it's important to make that? I, I am involved in it, um, much against me. Uncle Albert Trotter is played by actor Buster Merrifield. In 1985, when he was in the sitcom, he was 65 years old, and sadly on June 23rd, 1999, he passed away 78 in Poole, Dorset, England. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Rodney. I told you once, you remember, uh, that Grandad and I didn't speak to each other for years. Yeah. Well, people recognise me, but people break into a smile. And that's wonderful. It's like magic. Walk along and there. Here's Uncle Albert. Mikey Pierce is played by actor Patrick Murray. In 1983, when he was in the sitcom, he was 27 years old, and now he's living healthy at 66. We sign him with the sign of the cross. Except <laughs> 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 for one fellow who sat on my right and oh, he got on my nerves, you know. And there was one point, you know, Every time I bet, he rose me up. Cassandra Trotter is played by actress Gwyneth Strong. In 1989, when she was on the sitcom, she was 30 years old, and now she's 64 years old. You mean when you left me? Sad thing. No, it isn't. I didn't go anywhere, Roddy. I was at the flat waiting for you. You just didn't come home? No. <laughs> I think most women would tell you that. They all love Rodney, but maybe they don't want to go out with him. How was it for you playing such an iconic character in one of them? Raquel Turner is played by actress Tessa Big Jones. In 1988, when she was on the sitcom, she was 31 years old, and now she's living healthy at 66. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. What's that, Unc? Why don't he take someone with him? That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
got some money and she's, I think, Mrs Maguire that was, was quite hard up and went to work because she had to earn a living. And so I think all our characters... This Marlene is played by actress Sue Holderness. In 1985, when she was on the sitcom, she was 36 years old and now she's living out there at 74. I suppose you've missed him, eh, Dill? Mm, who's? Me. Oh. I mean, you must have missed him when he left your partnership. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, so I was very lucky. Yeah. But then, you see, I've, been, I've worked with wonderful writers most of my life. I've had a lot of eight ball, and now you've got Ray Cooney, who is the master of farce. Nobody writes farce. Alan Perry is played by actor Dennis Lill. In 1989, when he acted in the sitcom, he was 47 years old, and now he's living healthy at 81. I'm late, Dill. Oh. I'm just phoned from the villa. Oh, that's all right. No problem, man. No problem. Uh, what are you drinking? Uh, just a tomato. Juice, and uh... <laughs> um, Dennis, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to recently or anything we could be looking forward to? Um, yeah, you can. Um, well, I've been touring a lot. I've been uh, working in the theatre for a... Mike Fisher is played by actor Kenneth MacDonald. In 1983, when he acted in the sitcom, he was 33 years old. And sadly, on August 6, 2001, he passed away at 50 in Hawaii, USA. Listen, I was really cut up yesterday when I heard about your dad, your husband. Still, at least he didn't suffer. No, he... Still display back to Roy Heather. In 1982, when he was on the sitcom, he was 47 years old. And sadly, on September 3rd, 2014, he passed away 79 in Purbrook, Hampshire, England. I mean, uh, what I would love if would be if they ever put out a tape of all the things that went wrong. Who is your favorite character in the sitcom Only Fools and Horses? And what do you think about some of the actors who have passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.